Hi there, in today's video you will learn how you can create this awesome animated infographic in PowerPoint. First, we will create this beautiful 4-step infographic by using 3D bevels, next we will animate it with the help of motion paths, and after that, we will be inserting hyperlinks to create a clickable menu, and finally, Morph Transition will help us bring everything together. Alright, let's start the interstellar journey. Okay, let's jump into PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint Office 365 for Mac, and as always, I have already created some slides for you. First we have a homepage slide, and after that, four additional slides for each step of the infographic. And as we zoom out, as you can see there are some shapes, outside the slide window, we will animate all of them with the morph transition. And by the way, feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the information is in the video description. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos, thank you so much. And now let's start, creating the infographic, and the first step, is to insert a circle. Let's make it 10 cm by 10 cm. Now let's go to the 3D rotation options, and let's choose one of the parallel presets, for example this one. And now, let's leave everything the way it is, let's just add a bit of Z rotation, and let's tilt our circle on a side. Nice! And now let's go to the 3D format section, and let's add a top bevel, let's choose cool slant bevel. Now for the width, let's enter 15 points, and for the height 75 points. And now our circle looks like this, great. You can as well choose a different material, lightning, and lightning angle. I have chosen plastic material, freezing lightning, and a lightning angle of 200 degrees. Nice. And now we have basically created the second part of our infographic, Let's continue with creating the third part, because it's very similar to the second one. Let's just change the fill color. And now instead of a top bevel, let's add a bottom bevel, and let's use the same bevel width and height. Alright, and now let's just bring the bottom circle closer to the top circle, just like that. Nice. And now, let's continue by creating the top part of our infographic. Once again, let me change the fill color, and this time, let's add a top bevel, but let's choose a different bevel, let's use the circle bevel, and let's insert 150 points for the width, and 100 points for the height. This way, we should get a rounded cap for our infographic. Let's just resize it a little bit so that it fits better. Super nice, and now, let me quickly make the bottom part, and once again, instead of a top bevel, let's use a bottom bevel. Alright, so now we have all of the infographic parts that we need, and next, let's make them move. Let's just move all of these guys a little bit to the left side, so that we have more space, and now let's select the top part, go to animations, path animations, and choose lines. Now just grab the red bubble, and adjust the ending point of the animation. Next, let's jump into the animation pane, and let's configure the animation settings. Let's make sure that the animation starts with previous, duration 2 seconds, smooth start smooth end, and auto reverse is enabled, and for the repetition, let's set it to, until the end of slide. And now let's give it a preview. Nice. 
The top part of the infographic is floating back and forth successfully. Let's double click the animation painter, and let's paste the same animation to the rest of the parts. So now, all of the infographic parts have the same animation, and as you can see, all of them are moving at the same time. Let's add some variation, by adding animation delays. For part number 2, I'm adding a delay of 0.4 seconds. For part number 3, a delay of 0.8 seconds. And for part number 4, a delay of 1.2 seconds. And now we are getting this beautiful wavy animation. Let's check it out on the full screen as well. Nice. Well done. Alright, so the infographic has been animated, and now let's take care of this little menu on the left side. The idea of this menu, is that you can click on any number, and jump to a specific slide that you wish. And now let me just copy all of these numbers, and let's paste them into our slide. Next, we'll have to make sure, that these numbers are pointing to the right slides. You can hit Command K, to open up the hyperlink menu, and as you can see the first number is linked to slide number 2, which is devoted to the first part of the infographic. So if we would be on the first slide, and would click on number 1 button, we would jump to the second slide, which is all about part number 1 of the infographic. And now, since we are creating the menu again, we have to insert 4 more slides, and set the hyperlinks to the correct slides. So now, let's link button number 1, to slide number 7. Button number 2, to slide number 8, and so on. So now, all of the hyperlinks have been updated, and let me just paste these updated buttons to the rest of the slides. And by the way, I have added a hyperlink to the slide title as well, so that it always points to the first slide. And since now we are creating everything again, our slide number 6 is basically the starting slide, so let's link the slide title, to slide number 6. Alright, and next let's start designing the slides for each of the infographic parts. Let's start with a slide, devoted to the first part of the infographic. And let's make the number 1 button bigger, to indicate that it's currently active. Next, let me move all of the infographic parts outside the slide, and let's just keep the first part, and let's rotate it a bit. We can as well activate the slide guides, so that we can see the center of the slide better. By the way, let me remove all of the animations, because we don't really need animations in the slides of the infographic parts, it's enough to have the starting slide animated. And next, let me just copy some text boxes, that I have created earlier. And let's use them on the slides, of the individual infographic parts. Alright, so the first part slide is completed, and this is how the morph transition looks like. Nice. And if you would like to make the transition speed slower, just increase the transition duration. I'm going with 2 seconds.
As you can see, now the transition is a bit slower. Nice. And now that you have seen, how the first part slide was created, let me quickly finish the rest of the slides, and I will meet you in a second. Alright, so now all of the slides are ready, and let's check out the final result on the full screen. Alright, so let's try clicking on button number 1. And as you can see, we successfully transitioned to the part 1 slide. And now let's get back, by clicking on the slide title. Nice. Everything seems to be working just fine. And we don't have to come back to the starting slide each time. We can go directly from one infographic part slide, to the next one. That's super nice. Congratulations, now you know, how you can create this animated 3D infographic in PowerPoint. Feel free, to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the info is in the video description. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below, what you would like to learn next. Thank you so much, and until next time.